All right, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing. Well, actually we're gonna review an impact drive that was sent to me by a company called Inco. And they wanted me to test out their impact driver. So <laughs> I'm gonna compare it to the Milwaukee and the Metabo HPT, cause you know, that's all I have. Oh, oh, you know, well, no, I, I can't compare it to any M12 thing or 12 volt tool, but maybe I will if it's just slumming it that hard. Uh, but before I get into opening this thing up, I wanted to say that, as I've mentioned before, I prefer these companies give me money so that I can go to their website and buy it anonymously. That way, I can be sure I'm getting the same product you would get. A lot of times what these companies will do is they may basically have a repackaged Milwaukee with their branding on it, and then they'll send it to the reviewer, and it'll be excellent, but when you go to buy it, it'll be some trash. Now... I wanted to bring your attention to this box. This they told me this was going to come from Amazon, so I was like, okay, cool. You know, I understand how Amazon works. I used to sell on Amazon, so I got that. But the curious thing is this return address here. It's coming from them, Inco USA, and uh, yeah, that's that's kind of suspect. Now I will say this looks very Amazon-like, but um, elaborate scam i don't know i don't know i don't this is not amazon tape so yeah no that's a little suspicious right there now you can sell on amazon and it not be fulfilled by amazon it just come from you uh but to me that's still a problem so i wanted to preface that before i tear this thing open let's get into it All right, so this is what you get. You get this little box here. Um, it's brushless, and I forgot what it advertises. I think the advertisement was 1,500 inch-pounds, so there you go. 1,500 inch-pounds of torque, and it comes with battery, bag, charger, there you go. Very small. Very small package here. This is of decent quality. I mean, it's a little bit thin, but this is of decent quality. It's very similar to the DeWalt's and the Milwaukee, but it's a little flimsier zipper, and like I said, this is a little thinner and the inside is lined with nylon which I don't like that'll tear up quick you have your instructions along with a belt clip and there we are we have two batteries actually we have two batteries batteries are kind of heavy charger looks decent 11 2021 I like this because this branding tells me that they're a company that's really trying and they're not like here today, gone tomorrow, sending you like generic stuff. They really have their branded on things and are keeping track of the uh, manufacturer date. So immediately, I'm not going to lie, this feels pretty good in your hand. It makes the same knocking sound when you shake it as a Milwaukee. I mean, it still has a little debris on it, but... This actually feels good. I, I'm, I'm even going to venture out to say this is the best feeling impact driver I've ever held in my hand. Oh, there's some, some bits too. Got quite a few bits. All right. Now let's go ahead and compare. Let's weigh it. I'm going to go charge one of the batteries now. All right. Well, real quick before we get into that, it does have a battery indicator on the battery. There you go. There, you have to hold it down. Like the DeWalt. Well, the other one's charging right now, and it plugged up just fine. I think it's interesting that when I plugged it up, usually stuff sparks, I guess, old house, but that one didn't spark at all, so maybe it has a low draw. Who knows? All right, so first up, again, let's address, first of all, the, the Milwaukee is the smallest out of the bunch. All right, compare those size. Milwaukee is way smaller, and the Metabo is also smaller than this bad boy here. We 
getting a shot like that. So it's the biggest one, but still impressive to me. Let's go ahead and weigh it. Oh, I can stand up. Two pounds, 4.9 ounces. So basically two pounds, five ounces. The Milwaukee feels heavy. Can't stand up. Two pounds, 3.6 ounces. The Tabo. Two pounds, 1.1 ounce. So the Metabo is the lightest and you can feel that. Those little ounces you can feel them when you pick them up this actually this feels the best this feels really good this is perfect this this does not have the best grip this does not have the best grip and it's really top heavy this this feels better than the milwaukee in second place the metabo feels wonderful though my whole hand feels from top to bottom. I mean, it feels like this is molded for my hand. And every tool is going to be different. You know, depending on your the size of your hands, the, the if you have smaller hands, the Milwaukee may feel better. Uh, if you have, actually, I'd say maybe if you had slightly bigger hands, this would feel better. If you had slightly bigger hands, this would feel better too. Or maybe smaller, I don't know, because this handle, this part is pretty skinny. On the, on the Milwaukee, even though it doesn't look like it, this part is pretty, it's really fat, so. And this one is a nice blend between the two and it has more curves. So it's more comfortable in your hand. As you see, this doesn't really have any curves. That one has some curves. All right. Now, the battery's not charged yet, but I will say it's a nice looking tool. I like how the, the bottom of it goes right and flows right into the battery. A lot of these other companies, the batteries don't look right when you put them on. Let's look at the Metabo. See, well, this is kind of seamless. This looks all right. This is all right. This is pretty seamless. Now the Milwaukee. This is, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. But yeah, this is uh, much better. It does poke out a little bit more, I feel like. Whereas the Metabo is taller. This is more lower profile, but I think this is a two and a half amp hour battery. Yeah, this is a two and a half amp hour battery. And so is this. This is also a two and a half amp hour battery. It's a lot more sleek, smaller. Now this is a five amp hour battery. And it's the same size as the Metabo. So, that's saying a lot for the Metabo. Batteries, I like their sizes. Uh, now, I don't want to use it yet. I don't want to abuse the tool. I always wait for the batteries to charge. So, we're going to go ahead and wait for the battery to charge. And then we will uh, get back out to using it. Alright, so the battery is fully charged now. And it has a decent weight and balance. But... Let's look at the flashlight. It's more of a spotlight. Very bright though. Let's look at the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee is weird because it's angled up. And so when you do it, you just get the shadow of the collet and you know, it doesn't really do a great job. And the Metabo, which again, still feels the best in hand after going through each one lights up the whole area i like that much better you can see a lot more but it still concentrates in a particular area the closer you get though now it doesn't aim up though it's straight out so you know and then when you look at it let's wait for it to go away all right so we see it spreads out it's a much bigger light so it goes around the whole thing whereas this thing is just a dot and the Milwaukee is kind of a spread thing, but it just focuses up front, doesn't go around. So, yeah. All right. So, let's talk about the noise. All right. So, currently it is on high. So, here we are. And it is a variable trigger. See? But that's as slow as it goes. Atabo on high 
sounds a lot more collected on the slowest there we go that actually is a little quieter it's a little jolt at the end and it makes a clack sound when it stops no that's not that's slow hold on that was loud that was quieter. That seems to be the quietest with the eh at the end. But the Milwaukee has the best variable speed. Check that out. That's on its high speed. All right, let's go drill some stuff. All right. So this is left over. So this is left over from the last test. I haven't even charged these batteries since then on the Milwaukee or the uh, Metabo. Now here's an interesting thing. When you're in reverse, you can't change the settings. It tells you only clockwise, and I understand what that meant, but you can only change them when you're in clockwise, which is kind of strange. All right, so here we are. Let's back these out. This was <laughs> Milwaukee. We're gonna do this. actually did good like it's it did the impact slow and then sped up once it reached the grooves which was interesting but this is super loud all right let's drive it right here okay here we go Okay, <laughs> uh, that hurts my ears. Let's uh, crank that Metabo back out. See if we can finish it all. Of course it could. <laughs> oh, it's stuck. I mean, the. The socket drill went into the wood. Goodness. Ow. Alright. Uh, you know, it's okay. 1,500 inch pounds. I think this is rated at 1,800. This is about as... I mean, you saw how far I could go. We couldn't do it. So, uh... As far as vibration goes... I don't know, it's really loud. Alright, look, I, I really wasn't expecting the thing to do that much. I'm going to be honest with you. And it didn't. Uh, it was okay. And I think for this kit that you saw with the two batteries, the case, the charger, it has a three-year warranty. Uh, it's like $140. And I think you guys get $10 off, so it might be like $130, $120, $130 for the kit. You know... You could do better with a Master Force, and be honest with you, you could go to Menards and get that Master Force, and it'll blow this thing out of the water, as you've seen. I think this is Menards, right there. That's Menards. One of these, that's Menards. Okay, so that's the Master Force right there. That's what I would recommend doing. For 109 you can get a case, an actual legit hard case that works their modular storage system, the charger, a boost battery, two and a half amp hour battery, and that thing it's huge <laughs> the menards impact driver is really big uh for it to be brushless but i mean it produces this they really try to make it look like the walt it's not a terrible tool but it's not the best for the money now they lowered the price and only included one battery and the price was like we talking about like 80 dollars like 79 dollars Maybe $89. For $89, I feel like you need both batteries. But $79, I would be okay with that at that point. You know, but you know, 
Yeah, for seventy nine dollars, I think this kit is okay without the ba extra battery. So I would recommend that they do that. Just take this one battery out, impact one battery, the bag, and and the charger. I think that's good for seventy nine dollars because at a hundred dollars, it's just too much out there that can compete with it and beat it. You know, it has a more reputable known name and. You know, it's easy to warn. You can just go into the store, return it, or, I don't know, just get your warranty service out of it. All right, so what are my thoughts on this thing? First, let's talk about the fit and the finish. If you come in here, you kind of see paint marks all over the place in different corners. Just little things you don't see in big brand name tools. You see back here where the battery indicator is, this, this cut and the plastic is not perfect. It's jagged. Uh, you know, the paint is coming off of the, the the name, things like that. You know, it's it's it comes off as a cheap tool. It does feel good in your hand. We're moving on to build quality. The build quality is good. I like the way it feels in your hand, despite the, the fit and finish being kind of bad. It's not terrible, but it's not perfect either. Let's see, look at that plastic line, that seam down the middle. It's, the fit and finish is not great but the build quality is good it feels like a solid tool it feels no different than a DeWalt it actually feels better than a Milwaukee in your hand you know easy to control uh, you know I like the different settings on the bottom it's a little weird that you can only change them under certain circumstances like it has to be going clockwise in order for you to change the speed modes I like how like I mentioned before I like how the battery flows, and, you know, in the front there. As far as performance goes, how would I? What would I compare this to? It performs to me just like Milwaukee M12 tools do, right? Like M12 fuel tools, roundabout, maybe a little less, maybe a little less than an M12 fuel tool maybe maybe it performs more like the brushless milwaukee's a step above that a step below the the fuels so with that said that's good is this good for a homeowner i mean it's plenty for a homeowner in fact like for a homeowner i would recommend like heart tools because they're going to be cheaper generally anyway if you find them on sale but this is more of like a hobbyist diyer tool now, as far as value goes, uh, if you guys use the promo code that they gave me to give to you, you can get it, this kit for $99. It comes with two batteries, the bag, the charger, and the impact driver. Personally, I mean, for $99, yes, you get an extra battery, but still, for me, I couldn't recommend it. Uh, there's some things to think about. Like for $100, I would recommend getting the Master Force from... Menards, you're going to get a hard shell case that comes with a modular stacking system like the Milwaukee Packout. You're going to get one two and a half amp hour boost battery, though. This comes with two batteries. And like I said, it comes with a hard shell case and everything. However, that is on clearance for $99. And once you factor in the 11% rebate, it's $88. I mean, obviously, right now, that's a better deal. But normal price for that thing is $150. So really at $99, at $100, this is not terrible. But also you can get right now the Milwaukee M12 fuel version of this with two batteries, a 2 amp hour battery and a 4 amp hour battery and a bag. I mean, and which one are you going to do? The Milwaukee is a proven brand with a five-year warranty. And no offense, but we don't know these people. Now, I did want to comment about the way these people do business. That I, I've told them that, in my opinion, you know, they need to just make a better tool. Make a focus on making a tool comparable to a Milwaukee Fuel, and and keep their current pricing, or remove one of the batteries from the kit and make this seventy nine dollars. I think this will fly off the shelf. Then seventy nine, eighty nine dollars. I think it'll be a good value then. But when you factor in all the sales that are constantly going on, I mean, it's going to be hard to compete with these bigger brands with deeper pockets. Now, 
they have been very receptive to the feedback and have adjusted. So again, that tells me that this company is probably not here today, gone tomorrow. Also, in addition to that, I like how they have all the branding on their tools, like their Facebook and everything like that, which we should probably visit and follow. And, you know, they're doing everything the right way, it seems. It's just, I just feel like they're going to be outdone by these bigger brands. So with that said, I'm going to wrap this up. I do have some extra footage coming up with not including this, but the Milwaukee stuff. If you'd like to support this brand, I'll leave the link in the description below. Again, my personal opinion, this is not for contractors at all. It's a step up above home you know home regular homeowners this is more of a diy hobbyist handyman type of tool in my opinion and for that i think it's a pretty good value and i apologize i'm sorry inco if that didn't go the way you thought it would but i gotta be honest uh for kicks and giggles i'm gonna go ahead and see if this milwaukee can uh finish that off but geez it started spewing oil from the last time I'd also like to remind you guys that this Milwaukee is on, it's using a 5 amp hour battery. This Metabo is using a 2.5 that hasn't been charged since last time. So let's see if we can finish driving this. All right. Yes, it tore it up that time. incredible job that time that was better than the metabo i don't know what happened maybe it was hot that day i don't know what was going on but it didn't perform it is spewing some oil though and that 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 could have been the problem but uh ew yeah it's all in my fingertips man uh yeah that ain't normal not supposed to do that but hey it got a man i want to say something about this real quick and the test i think i used a four amp hour battery to keep it all in line with all the other ones because none of the other ones had a 5 amp hour battery and I used a 4 amp hour battery I think and I suspected years ago with that battery that it was defective and so I could have been using the defective battery because this XC 5.0 just smashed that thing and this is actually what comes with the kit so yeah I don't know I have to redo that whole video I mean the way it handled that I would definitely say this is, Milwaukee is the winner right there there you go. Next up, Metabo HPT though. So that's it for the video. Hopefully it was enjoyable. And I'll see you guys next time.